1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and Proverbs chapter 14. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 4 to 5, there is this bam truth that I really want you to hear. When I speak, when any other teacher of God's word speaks and the Holy Spirit moves upon your heart, the power of God is not because of the teacher. The power of God comes, the Bible says, because of your tender heart. And as someone who's been teaching the word of God for four decades, for 40 years, I'm telling you this is so true. I can teach you the same sermon. I often teach the same sermon six, seven times in a weekend, and I'll have that same sermon that, that in one group there people are really hungry, and boom, the power of God comes. Then I'll have another group, same sermon, and, and, and people are kind of close to me, and there's no power. Here's what the Word of God says. For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power and with the Holy Spirit and with deep conviction. Paul said, the reason we had the power of God when we spoke was because your hearts were open. So I want to tell you today that any time that the Spirit of God has moved on you in anything that I've said or anything in the Word of God, it's not because of what I'm saying. It's not because of what any other teacher has said. The power comes because of you. The power becomes because your heart is open and you're the one that drew the power of God, the Bible said, because God chose you and that's the proof and that's why the Holy Spirit comes with power. So thank you for having a heart for God today. Now, as we go over to Proverbs, in Proverbs today, I just want to zero in on a verse that I really need to comment on. I just want to thank the Lord for this verse because I've had so many times, so many women. Proverbs 14.1 is one of the most famous verses. It says, the wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. I don't need to comment on it. No one else needs to comment on it. Just want to say that that's the power of God's word, that there's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times that I've known of ladies who have said, because of that verse, I found myself giving affirming words and shutting down on cutting words with my husband, shutting down on cutting words with my children because I didn't want to be a woman who tore her own house down. I wanted to be a wise woman who builds her house. Don't you thank God for how many thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of homes that the word of God changes our hearts and lives are changed because of it. Today, let the word of God change our hearts and let other people's lives be changed because of it. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.